good afternoon and we are on our first cruise ship here of 2022. of 2022. We're on the Norwegian July. Yeah. Now we did have to get a COVID test prior to boarding. Right at the port. Right at the port. Well, um, it's a stressful time. It is a stressful time. I recommend doing it earlier. We did have a little bit of a delay getting on board, but here we are. We're gonna show you everything that we do, every place that we eat, all our activities, the ports, everything that we do on this uh, five night cruise. I think we're gonna start with the buffet. Yes, I'm hungry. We made it to the buffet and it's a really good buffet. Lots of options. Lots of different options. I got a type of potato, pretzel roll, sirloin, a chicken, like bourbon, bourbon yeah. sauce and fried rice. Yeah, a turkey piccata. I got some like stir fry, cheesy bread, pot roast. Looks and fries. Good. Really good. I really enjoyed the lunch. And dessert is passion fruit cake you got? Yeah, there's, there's not a great dessert selection. If you watched our videos before, I know you're thinking, what about the drinks? You always go to the bar first. Well, I was starving, so we skipped the bar first, but don't worry, we got our drinks. Yeah, there's a nice bar right in the buffet. Yes. We just explored and walked a couple decks on the ship. We also booked our comedy show on this ship. You don't have to book any main theater shows, just comedy. So we did a comedy show for today and one for the last night of the cruise. And it's a big ship too. It's almost 4,000 people on the ship. The comedy club only fits 120. So they might fill up fast depending on your ship. Yes. On deck eight in the back, we are here. There's the Disney, I believe Magic is the one. Yep. And they also have these floors that you can see down. Not the clearest, but it's really cool. Our room is ready and it is a confusing walk to get here. When we made it into the room, he turned on the lights. We're in an interior cabin and it is a small, small room. Very tidy. However, yeah, our welcome back champagne. We got champagne. So if you've been on more than one Norwegian cruise and you come back and your second cruise is longer than five nights, you get a complimentary bottle of what I'm sure is very, very cheap brute. <laughs> Earlier we said you only had to book the comedian show. Well, well we kind of found out why. There is no live performances of Footloose Elements in the Beatles, which is three of the big shows here on board. We get the small shows. So it might be different on your cruise, whether you uh, can book these shows. It's a little disappointing. I'm, I'm more disappointed in Element uh, than any other show. But we'll make the best of it. We laid down in the room, took a little nap since we had to get up at 4.30 in the morning oh, to get so here nice. to get our COVID test. But we are now in the observation lounge. Yeah, deck 15 in the front of the boat. It's, it's awesome. It is massive in here. And of course, we're having a drink before we go to watch the sail away party. But this is like definitely going to be the best place to watch you sail into a port or... Like on sea day, just chilling out, watching the ocean. And it's very empty here right now. It's really big. Very, very big. And uh, there's the Freedom of the Seas. We'll be on that in March, I think. Yep. During the sail away party, they are playing the traditional songs that you hear, but they're giving you away free t-shirts and passes to the go-karts and VR stuff. VR stuff. So I would recommend hanging out here. One of my favorite things about sailing out of Miami is you see all different cruise ships. And like I said, the freedom in the seas, we are going to be in March, but I think we are cruising too much <laughs> because we will also be on the Qu Conquest in March for their celebration. They're celebrating 50 years. Yeah, like all sorts of special events. So I'm really excited for that cruise. Yes, they have different uh, cruise ships all docked in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. And it's gonna be a fun time. Okay. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we will do a vlog from uh, the Carnival Conquest as well as the Freedom of the Seas in March. About 12 hours after we woke up yeah. to drive to Miami, we are now leaving Miami. A little bit later departure than what we were told. 
So here we are. I love sailing in and out of Miami. I really and do. And you kind of get golden hour on this side, so like some really cool views. Mm -hmm. First trivia of the cruise, sports trivia. I love the atrium. I do. I do love the atrium. I believe sometimes they play giant movies on the screen. I know other Norwegian ships have, so hopefully, maybe. Yeah. We just got done playing sports trivia, and we were really close. The winning team got eight. We got 7.5. Nothing that I helped with. No, I tried. You did. I'm also drinking the uh, the Berry Smash from the whiskey bar. It's good. It's a pre-mixed drink that comes like cocktails on tap kind of thing, but it's way stronger than you would think it would be. You do taste a lot of bourbon. Mm -hmm. We are now in the Manhattan dining room. It's a free style, so you get to pick which uh, dining room you'd like. I got the mozzarella cheese ravioli, and you got bruschetta. Now we are in the back of the ship, and you do feel the vibrations. You hear it, and look at that water move. So just before, yes, before warned, if you're dining in this dining room, you'll probably feel a little bit movement. The main course is here. I got some spare ribs, and you got... Beef sirloin medallions. It kind of looks like a kid's meal on other cruise lines, but I'm really excited for it. It looks so good. It looks really good, and those fries look delicious as well. Dessert time, I got a chocolate tart. I think it has salted caramel on there. It looks awesome. It does amazing. It does, and you got the whole lava cake. Mine definitely looks prettier. We are now back in the atrium listening to Manuel play some uh, piano over there. And we are drinking white Russians. We did try to get chocolate martinis, but they cost extra and are not on the beverage plan. So here we are drinking and listening to the piano. We're in the theater. We're going to see Rocket Man, a tribute to Elton John. Again, kind of disappointing that the main shows are canceled, but we'll see how this is. I also like the neon lights on the ceiling. I don't like there's no bar in the theater. There is no bar. And it's uh, kind of smaller. There's no balcony. Lots it of just, seats there. Yeah, a lot of seats. Dragon Man, a tribute was good. I mean, he was a really good singer. But now we are in the district view house. One of my favorite places on the boat. The yes. beer bar, also the sports bar. And, and we this are, is a big deal for us here in the loop. Yes, we are watching football. Yes. And why are we watching football? Well, this is the final Monday night game of the fantasy football season. So we're seeing who loses. Is it going to be Kenny or is it going to be Drew the intern? Anticipation right now. Drinking these beers. We are now in the venue called The Social here for comedy. Again, you do have to pre-reserve your reservations for comedy. If you're curious, after the comedy club, we came back to Monday Night Football because the game is point seven to determine who's the loser in the loser ball. We'll be here probably until the end of the game. We just found out who lost the loser ball. Drew the intern. Drew the intern. It became very, very close between Kenny and Drew. Last but minute of the game. Last minute of the game. And now it is snack time as I've sat here way too long. We are now at the local bar and grill, which is the late night food, which I believe is open 24 hours. Yeah, one of my favorite locations on any Norwegian ship. They always have these awesome anytime kind of diner places. This smells delicious. We got buffalo chicken wings and then pretzel bread with uh, cheese. These are the same pretzel bread that's in the buffet that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend this place. It came up really quick, like five minutes. Good morning. It is day two. It's probably the earliest that we've ever woken up on a cruise. We're going to Belize, Harvest K, and it's our... Um, back. So right now we uh, we woke up at 7.30. Yep, yep. We thought it was 8.30, but then we were remembered to wait. Clocks went back an hour. And you can really feel the ship movement right now. Oh, man. For a ship that was uh, built in 2017, I don't know if it's the rough seas or how fast we're going, but, like, you can see the waves. And feel it a lot. Feel it a lot. Now, for breakfast, it's a very standard breakfast uh, menu. Good quality bacon, though. It is. 
And here's kind of an example of how much movement. You mean it's not a wave pool? Yeah, it's, it's not supposed to be a wave pool, no. Now we're going up, we're going down, we're going back. Words and side words. It's a lot of movement on the ship right now. But that pool looks pretty fun. It does. It, it looks like it's a wave pool. When the motion gets to me, I always call outside, and sometimes it helps with the fresh air, and sometimes it gives you views like this. Uh, Up. Down. And down. It's a lot. It's a lot of movement with the horizon. However, there is the water slide. But you can't wait for that, Molly. I don't know if I'm going to go on it. I'm not a big uh, fan of the drop slides. But besides that, it's a really gorgeous day outside. This is really neat. At the Cavern Club here, there is a plaque that talks about all the names on each brick that actually played at the real Cavern Club in Liverpool. It's really neat. We are back in the atrium for Good Morning Trivia. I believe this trivia is more of a general trivia. Uh, we sat down about 15 minutes prior to trivia and they were doing an origami class. I think it's a very neat activity. You don't see that much. It looks very hard. It looks really hard. I once had a day-by-day -day origami calendar and it was uh, time consuming. We have they also have cooking salt, demonstrations. Salt. Right now they're going we over sushi from Food Republic. Yeah, it's one of the upcharge restaurants, a la carte restaurants salt here salt. on board. Okay. Right now we are back at the observatory lounge, which these chairs right here is what I'm sitting in. And it's a gorgeous view. And they are so comfortable. They are perfect for this giant window. And we're just having a few drinks, watching the ocean. The movement did get better. Another unique trivia is emoji trivia bands. So they show you emojis and you have to guess which bands they're talking about. This one's pretty easy. We are at the poolside listening to the band Tropical 4. It's your traditional uh, cruise ship band. But our entertainment is watching the drop slide over here and seeing how many people make it over the loop. It's probably less than 50%, I would say, make it over the loop. Uh, people keep uncrossing their legs and arms. It's definitely not something I'll do. Lunchtime, and we went back to the buffet. I was originally going to suggest us a split a plate and then maybe go to the main dining room for lunch because there was a few items on that menu that looked really good, but look at all this stuff. This buffet has such a good selection. That pork panini. That pork panini looks amazing. And then we have like Mexican lasagna. I got a quesadilla that's filled with chili. The pizza looks really good. Yeah. Overall, I think the food is a winner. We are back in the observatory lounge. And this bottle, you noticed. Yeah, Wild Rum, obviously Wild and Galleries is a big art gallery in a lot of like tourism towns like Key West and places like that. They had their own rum. It was built for the uh, their Norwegian Bliss cruise ship. And uh, I guess they're not doing it anymore. It used to be $33 a shot. Now it's $15, which makes it on the beverage plan. It's, it's quite delicious. It's good. I have been corrected. Apparently, I've been pronouncing it wrong. Yeah. I think Harry Potter's hit me too much. On the count of three, say observatory. Observatory. Observation Lounge is where that Wyland rum is in the gorgeous windows. We just spent about an hour while he played video poker and we took shots from a very friendly bartender in the casino. They were delicious shots. Yeah, she was really nice. She was very nice. Uh, it was a pistachio shot and a melon ball, melon ball Snickers. and Snickers. It was really good. And now we're back at the pool bar. It's a Santana music era. We are now playing Deal or No Deal. I think it was $29 for a card. For one card, you get two chances to win. It is in the atrium, and we're eating here at the local where we're playing. The local has a different menus. There's a late night menu and a daytime menu. And a breakfast menu. And a breakfast menu. Uh, this is a, sli a sausage slider that is not available during the late night menu. And you got a... Uh, 
wings, which oh, is available sweet on Sweet chili barbecue, Korean barbecue wings. Spicy. We won an instant play card at Deal or No Deal, which you redeem at a bingo. And now we are watching Celebrity Head, where he has to uh, guess which celebrity is on the screen behind, behind him by asking yes or no questions. It is dinner time, and Norwegian is known for its free style dining, where you can get to choose your dining room. So yesterday we ate at the Manhattan dining room. Which is in the back of the boat a little bit bumpy with the engine. Yes, but this one here middle of the ship. is the middle of the ship. The appetizers have arrived and I got the spring roll. You went uh, two entrees. Yeah, it's a bourbon glazed bacon chicken. It looks really good. Main course time and mine is giant. I got the Parmesan crusted pork chop. But yours look really good too. Yeah, pepper crusted roast beef. Dessert time. You got Boston cream pie, I one of your Boston, favorites. Yes. It looks pretty good. I went a little bit different and got the chocolate mint mousse. To Braves or Tina Turner. We are now playing The Last Man Standing. It asks you questions. You stand on which side you believe is true. We are back in the theater for tonight for the show. This one is Acrobat Duo. Again, uh, this is probably the show that is most like any of the stage shows that they usually perform. And I'm kind of excited for it. the band as well as going to the uh, nightclub for the 90s party we are now eating some night late night snacks he got wings again I went with a hot dog with bacon and sauerkraut here at the local we came back to the stateroom to find the freestyle daily guide for tomorrow and what's really disappointing is when we first booked this cruise it said that we are arriving at Harvest Key, which is uh, Norwegian's per private island in Belize, at 10 a.m. Now it's 1 p.m. We do get an extra hour. I believe it was 10 to 4 originally. Now it's 1 to 5. So that's a little bit of a bummer, and they have not uh, told us yet. It was just on the freestyle guide. Good morning, it is day three here. We woke up very late, but we didn't go to bed until about 1.30. So we woke up at 10, and by the time we were ready, the buffet had closed for breakfast. It closes at 10.30. So we are here at the local again that does serve breakfast. The food has arrived. I got the breakfast sandwich with ham and eggs, and he's never hungry in the morning, so he just got hash browns. First activity of the day of, for us is on Broadway trivia. I don't think we'll do very well. I'm not huge into Broadway facts and trivia. That was uh, probably the hardest trivia. There was 21 points you could get, and we got the lowest at four and a half. The winner got 12. Now we're gonna uh, get a new beverage. We are in the observation lounge again watching us pull into harvest k it is a gorgeous view definitely try to get here early to get a very good seat so you can see the views you go very slowly though pulling into a port good news we're here earlier than what was originally told us, or we were told so that's good one of my favorite parts of the buffet that we have not shown off yet is the pasta station. You get to choose between two different noodles. You can choose your sauce, either pesto or alfredo. I'm going both. Or you can do both. And then they also have uh, meatballs. And they uh, cook it to order. And here is our made to order pasta. I also got a Jamaican beef patty over here. And one thing that we have not noted 
is that if you sit in all the way in the very back of the buffet, it is a little bit quieter right now. Granted, our ship is not that crowded, but you overlook the observation lounge and you get that same gorgeous view. Outside on deck eight, they have these binoculars and they are free and it is great for any type of whale watching or I know there's manatees in this section, so maybe you could see a manatee or you could look off in the distance and see all those mountains. Recommend uh, coming out here while you're in port and using uh, these free binoculars. We just left the ship and going to now explore Harvest Key. I love the design on the ship. We stopped at the information booth to get a map since we've never been here before. We are exploring the island. We just went through some shops. And now we are going to go to the wildlife experience, which I'm super excited for. The first section is butterflies. And there's butterflies everywhere. Giant iguana. <laughs> We made it to the beach. We'll probably swim a little bit. I don't know how cold it is, but I love the little lagoon areas on the beach. Lounge chairs and umbrellas are free. And this will be our view for a little while. They do also have a pool here, which we didn't probably get in. The uh, ocean was cool, but there was a lot of fishes. So I'm going to be probably more of a pool person today. It is a shame that your drink package is not included with any drinks on the island as well as all food you had to pay for. We did decide to get two beers. They're both made here in Belize. One is called Lighthouse and the other one is called... Pelican. They're pretty good. They are about $8 per beer, and again, you have to use either credit card or cash. We are now taking a long journey walk back to our boat, but you get wonderful views of your ship it here in Harvest Key. And Pelicans. I found. That's so cool. We are now back on the ship probably in our favorite lounge again and this time they had snacks look at this strawberry cheesecake and then a sausage roll we are back playing trivia this time it's international company logo trivia we are back in the district and they actually do something really cool they have a program that they count how many beers you are drinking um, one point for each different beer that you drink. Much like the tap aspect. Just like our, our local bar. And they have it on the screens of who's winning. And you are tied for first right now. Yeah. With uh, six beers so far. So it's his goal to uh, get a couple more beers in here today. There it is. Six. Go down Tim Horner. Back in the atrium, we are watching a game show, 55 to stay alive, it's just like minute to win it, where contestants have 55 seconds to complete a challenge. Just departing Harvest K, way there in the distance, the lighthouse. We are outside on deck 8, watching the sunset. It is so calm to see, it's so much different than that other day when it was wave pool. Yes, it's very different. It's one of my favorite things to do is uh, spend one evening watching the sunset because it's so pretty with the reflection of the water. There's a gorgeous sunset. We are currently listening to the pianist with Andre. He uh, did the tribute to Elton John earlier in our cruise. Tonight's uh, dinner is at Taste Dining Room. Again, it is one of our the complimentary dining rooms midship appetizer time i got the white cheddar soup yours looks really good yeah, and really Asian, big for an appetizer yeah, Asian spare ribs. yes main course time i got rigatoni and you went the uh the sirloin beautiful looking. it does good good presentation and look at that baked potato 
dessert time, I got uh, brownie some more. He got uh, nothing. The presentations here have been really impressive. Yeah. We are currently in Cellars, which is the wine bar. And their system is so neat. You can select wine list and it gives you a, All the wine. A, yeah, a picture of every single bottle of wines, rosés. You can filter it depending on what kind of type. You can also filter it for price ranges. And, and the system's really, really cool too. So like if they ran out of any of these wines, they could zap it in the system. It would be on none of the menus anymore. I'm drinking a wine. I'm fascinated by the system. We are currently watching the game show Wheel of Ill, where they have to guess a letter. If they guess it right, then they have a challenge that they have to perform, and then guess the phrase. It is pretty hilarious. I find this game to be entertaining. Watch it. morning here on day four we are sailing into Cozumel right now I decided to go with a couple pastries here in the observation lounge with a bellini we are now docking and the ship is very vibrating the chandelier is just going crazy over there and we had to make sure he was still in the lead the first activity that we'll participate in today is the famous movie quotes. I really enjoy the use of the atrium here with all their different activities. We came in second at the famous movie quotes. So we got a deck of cards and then a cell phone pouch holder. I don't know what you call it. It's like a card holder for phones. Card holder for phones. And then we're now eating at the local. And I'm so excited it's for really the... Good. Artichoke dip. Uh, I remember this was one of my favorite things on Norwegian ships in the local or she hands is what it's called on other ships. And we're just uh, watching uh, the screensaver here in the atrium. Don't always trust what the freestyles say because the down down wall it says here that it's about a weight loss journey, but the screen says it's about uh, a climber, which probably makes more sense. My food showed up. I got the Wrangler burger, which looks delicious. A tip to navigate around the ship is the carpet has fishes on it. And the fish face forward. So you know which direction you are headed. In the afternoon today, while we're in port, we're not going to get off the ship. We are going to spend it in the back at Spice H2O and this giant, giant hot tub. I believe this hot tub is supposed to hold 36 people. Update, we probably spend, what, two hours? Yeah. Two hours in the hot tub. Very peaceful on a port day. And I recommend you sitting on this side. Is that the controller? Right over there. Right over there, right by the tree. Yep, right there. That is a controller for the jets. I am not brave enough to do this slide. I am terrified to have a rollback on a roller coaster and having a rollback on a water slide, which I hate anyways, is a big no. But he's going for it. If you've never seen one of these, it's a drop slide. You get in a little coffin here and they count down and the floor drops out under you. Again, I don't like anything dropping. So this uh, ride is kind of terrifying for me. So let's, let's see how we prevail, shall we? So it's probably counting down since the door is closed. Oh, there he goes, there he screams, there he spins, there he goes, and he goes down. It's a two loops, 
definitely not for me. Instead, I'm going on the happy tube slide over here. Much better. Good. Evil. <laughs> happy tube slide was magical. It had stingrays and sharks and everything. Someone made me do it. Someone told me I once said I would never say no to a cruise ship water slide because I already paid for it. But your thoughts? It was smoother than I thought. It's still terrifying. I don't like drop pods. Slides. No, neither do I. But I still like I like this better than the Aqua Dunk on the Disney Magic or the one I did at Kalahari in the Wisconsin Dells. You definitely don't feel like you're going upside down right here. And the view you get as you drop out is really cool. Yes, you look out onto Cozumel. Cozumel right now. I'm very sad. The shot lady in the casino bar is currently <laughs> not open right now because that's what I need. <laughs> I need a shot, a pistachio shot or something. We just went to the district Be brew house. I asked for the strongest beer they had and to calm my Calm, calm my nerves. Yeah, you're still shaking. It's been like 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, the dog said 90 minute is delicious. And uh, the one of the piano guys just hangs out in there and practices sometimes in the afternoon. Like, this is not my time guy right now, but it's just a dude practicing. Also, I'm wearing my dog shed mask today. We got the five for free, which includes one specialty restaurant. And this cruise, we are dining at Cagney's Restaurant. Again, Cagney's Restaurant, which is a la carte, but including the upcharge five for free. And we got a good view of uh, the ocean over here in the slippery ship. We're in Cagney's and I got a blush wine. Look at that wine glass. Yeah, it's quite, kind of gigantic. You got a Prosecco? Yeah. And then we have bread with the sunset. Right in Molly's eyes. You're allowed one appetizer and one super salad. And I got the shrimp cocktail. And he's not into salads, so I also got the Caesar salad. So both of these are mine. So he's not a fan of either one. You get a beautiful sunset here with the slippery ship sailing away. We also got the perfect sunset here in the back of the ship. Can you get a better looking lamb chop? This looks amazing. And then you had the Flamin Nunyan. Yes, the, the eight ounce. The eight ounce. Which uh, looks pretty good size. And with the, the uh, mater d' or butter on top. And then we got some sides you got some fries that look amazing and then i got onion rings and mushrooms looks really good fries are really good dessert time i got the biggest dessert <laughs> yeah that you can think of it's a seven layer chocolate cake you got the cheesecake which also looks delicious but this is probably as big as my head. Back in the interim, we are listening to the piano of Manuel while I'm drinking a bathe in the rocks. We are back in the social for more comedy. We are back in the observatory lounge with these comfy, comfy chairs listening to piano music. Right now, there is nothing much on the Times Guide that looks great. So we are going to watch the number one anthem in concert before the glow party here at H2O. I got a glow stick. Good morning, it is our last day here and it is a sea day. I know, it's sad. We are eating again breakfast at the local. I got French toast and bacon. He got a bagel, and we're sitting here watching 80s visual trivia. This morning we are spending a little bit of time filming. However, we're walking the outdoor, and this water slide still haunts my dreams. 
We are currently now in the Mojito Bar Sugar Cans. We've had a few drinks here before. We I usually love mojitos and usually have a lot of, of them on the cruise. However, the mojitos sometimes are pre-mixed. Your coconut one My coconut first, one was made for us. So get the coconut one, it's really good. The raspberry guava mojito was uh, decent, but it was pre-mixed. Back in the atrium, we are watching a movie, and this time it is Black Widow play. It is lunchtime here. We went with the buffet, and they have nochi this time. And a carbonara pizza. Yes. That looks really good. I like how the pizzas, well, most things change every yeah. day. We are now on the top deck playing around a mini golf. I'm shocked this ball is not a foam ball. We are in the last hole and it is not looking good for me. Going into this hole. Aww. He was very close to hole in one. A very, very close to hole in one. Instead, we go we go to the corner. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm gonna lose by Oh, not as much as I thought. You missed again. Maybe, maybe there's a chance. Nope, there was no chance. I lose by four. Another day where the seas are very, very calm here. We are drinking. Uh, well, you just moved the drink. <laughs> I moved it into my mouth. <laughs> We're enjoying the drink outside. We're back at the district brew house and he took a giant lead. <laughs> giant no one else moved back at the local i'm having loaded nachos while we're listening to the cruise next future cruise presentation probably the last trivia of our cruise is a friends trivia another game show called versus versus is a team of two teams of five strangers that have to complete Challenges. We are back in the taste dining room for dinner. I got a stuffed chicken. No, it's and he got thing. a prime rib that is giant. Looks really good, both of them. Dessert time, I went with a key lime cheesecake. I forgot what I ordered for a second. Key lime cheesecake. <clears throat> and you went with a raspberry truffle cake? Yep. We just got out of the theater. We today's show was a, f a tribute to Freddie Mercury by the the piano guy on board the boat. Yes, and who, um, he did he, a very good job. He, he seemed really, like he was loving it. Yes, he really enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure he shaved his goatee into a mustache just for the show. <laughs> yes, it was overall very good. Again, not a show that we wanted, like, planned to see, but it was uh, very well done. It was very entertaining. Yeah. And the total was 23 beers? Yep, in this bar. 23 beers in this bar. Want my own growler. Want a growler. And overall, 23 beers. That's a lot. Okay, we have three girls, three to one shots of winning. Another game show here in the interim. On the pool deck, they are playing Fast 9, and you get free popcorn. Free popcorn. It's a gorgeous night out here. The atrium now has an 80s party. At the 80s party, we had learned that the bars have rum cotta. I'm very upset that we just now learned this. It is not on the menu, so always ask the bartenders what they have and what they don't. And it's on the beverage plan. And it's on the beverage plan, which makes it even better. We are ending the night here at the local with some wings, and it's hilarious because the DJ is trying to get everyone to leave, and they keep asking for one more, and he's been going on for 24 minutes saying this is the last song. We have now moved into a different decade, and they keep going. And that will do it for our time here on the Norwegian Joy. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know. We do take cruises quite often, as well as other trips.